This is the inbox section of the Meta Business Suite, an all-in-one place where you can respond to messages your business page receives from both Facebook Messenger and Instagram as well. And if you stay with me in today's tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use it effectively and all of the great features and sorting filters that are available. All right, let's jump in. The first thing we need to do is access the inbox section. To do that, we navigate over to the left hand menu bar and look for the inbox tab. If you cannot see that, click on all tools and you can look for engage audience and you should see the inbox section right there. Once you've clicked on that, you are then going to land in the inbox section of the Meta Business Suite. And this allows you an opportunity to see all of the messages you have received from your business page for Messenger, from your Facebook page, and Instagram if you have connected it to the Meta Business Suite. And if you want a tutorial on how to connect your Instagram to the Meta Business Suite, I'll include a link to that in the description box below. Coming back to the video, where the first thing we can see is that if we go to one of our messages, there is the text box down below at the bottom, and this allows us the opportunity to reply to somebody's message at any time. And once we have entered in the message, we can navigate over to the right hand section and click on the send button. Now you may see that there are a couple of icons here that are right next to the send button. We have attaching a file so if you have a word document or a pdf or an excel sheet you want to attach you can click on that and find what you are looking for in your computer drive we've got a sticker opportunity so if we zoom out and click on the stickers we can see that we have got the opportunity to choose from a different range of stickers so here is a happy one and let's say we really like this one right here and we have now posted the sticker into the message. We are also now going to send the thanks response. And you can see here, we've also got saved replies as well that have popped up. So let's come back down to that and click on the saved replies. And you can see that there are two fast replies that we can have here. If you want to add a new one, you can click on the add new button and that will allow you the opportunity to create a new saved reply. So let's put an example in right now. And I'm just finishing up my quick response and you can see that the shortcut is thanks. We will reply soon. So I'm now gonna press the save button there and you can see that we can click on it and then it will auto populate in the text box down there and you can just press send after that. Now there are a couple of things that we want to come to up at the top section and let's go on to a message that we're not too interested in which is one of these spammy messages and you can see up in the top hand section we've got a couple of different buttons that we can choose from here. We can move this item to spam we can delete the conversation, we can mark it as a follow-up, we can mark it as unread, we can show that this conversation is important, or we can move it to the done section. So zooming out, this is a message that we are not interested in. So let's say we want to move it to the spam box. Boom, here it is into the spam box. And we can see the spam box by clicking on the filters drop down tab and you can see how your messages are structured based on importance and labels coming back here though let's say we get another message that we're not interested in and we want to delete it we just need to go to the garbage bin icon and click on the delete conversation button it will ask us do we want to do it with a pop-up tab and it will say it'll permanently delete it. Yes, we do want to permanently delete it. And if we come to the next message that we're not interested in, and let's say we don't want to see this one at all, we can then navigate to 
the move to done section, which is going to be very important because it means that we don't have to worry about the message. It's going to move it out of our main inbox. Now let's say that we do have a message that's important, like this inquiry, which I received and I've just given a response to. I want Facebook Messenger to notice and identify that this is indeed an important message. So we can see here that it's an important message. So let's show them and the algorithm that it is an important message and click on the red button until it goes red and zoom out. So we now know that it is an important message. Okay, that's fantastic. And that's a quick overview of responding to messages and using the different tools available. And the same thing applies as well in Instagram too. You can do the same thing and you can see I've got the Instagram messages there as well, just like the Facebook Messenger ones. If you want them all showing up at the same time, we just click on all messages. Okay, a couple of other features to be aware of. You can also choose the availability of when you want to respond to messages. So you just click on the drop down button up at the top here next to the away and you can say you're available or away. And you can also edit the away message at any time and choose the hours as well. So that's a quick overview of how to use the messenger section of the Meta Business Suite. Nice and simple. Now, of course, one of the most important things with the messenger section of the Meta Business Suite is being able to filter your messages correctly. And to do that, we just need to go over to the top section of the Meta Business Suite inbox and click on the drop down section again. And this will allow us to see how the messages are filtered accordingly. So if we want to see the messages that are unread and we need to respond to them, we can click on that button and that has all the available messages we need to reply to. If we want to look at the messages that have been marked as spam, we can see such messages. And if we want to look at messages marked as important for us to really prioritize following up on, we can do so as well. And then the same thing goes as well for the different labels and also if we need to follow up with any messages. So I've got two messages here marked for follow up. So I need to get on to responding to those people. And <clears throat> finally, there is the done section. So if you have ever clicked on a message accidentally as done, you can find all of those messages in this section right over there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.